go on in and uh, check it out. All right guys, welcome back to my channel. Did you see it snowed? It's the day after Christmas, December the 26th, and um, I wanted to actually be out here camping, but that wasn't gonna happen because I had family in from Florida and uh, couldn't leave them. So today what I'm gonna do is what I need to do like a month ago, <laughs> is I need to burn my stove in and uh, do a trial run of my cold weather camping tent. Now, if you follow my channel for any length of time, I've been talking about this quite often, and I've always wanted to come out here in the snow or even just in the cold weather. As you see, it's pretty cold. It's 24 degrees right now. Feels like it. <clears throat> Luckily, the sun's up, keeping me warm. But uh, this is a pretty good area right here. I think I'm gonna try to put the tent up and just see what it looks like, and I'm gonna uh, catch the stove on fire, burn all the crap out of it, I guess, or whatever. Get it real hot and then uh, we're gonna call it a day here and uh, give you just a little rundown of some things that are gonna be happening on my channel. I already did that before, but I wanna just uh, reiterate a couple things. All right, so the tent that I have is the uh, Lux Outdoors. It's the Megahorn 3 Shelter. Uh, it's enough for three people supposedly, two people comfortably, three people if you had to. So I got the biggest one because Ron C and J-Dubs uh, were supposed to be going camping. Uh, obviously, I hope it snows again. I know it will. Then we can all hook up and uh, you know just come out here and have a good time. I got a stove also. Uh, I'll link all the stuff that I got down in the description. Some of it did come from Amazon. Some of it I ordered, like this tent, for instance, I ordered from uh, the actual website. And I'll leave that link down there. It doesn't make none of the stuff makes me any money except the Amazon links. If you do decide to click on it, it's possible I may get a little kickback just to help my channel grow and I can keep doing this kind of stuff. So, like I said, the sled and everything you see in here, if I got it from Amazon or what have you, I'll leave links down below and then you can check it out for the feeling. All right, let me uh, go ahead and uh, make sure this is a good spot. I looked up above and uh, there's no really big window makers here, but I'm not sleeping here tonight anyway. I'm just putting the tent up to see how it works because I've never put one of these tents up before. Put all kinds of other tents up, but this one's gonna be a new one for me. So, uh, yeah, let's see how this works out. All right, so this is the stove I got right here. It's got all the stove pipe inside here, and I got this from Amazon. So far, I like it. Uh, the only thing I don't like about it, I haven't used it yet, but what I can say I don't like is I'm not understanding why this little piece just is like that. I mean, to me, I'd want that welded on there. I don't, I don't quite understand that. I mean. I get it, they were probably trying to make it look like one of the old timey stoves where you pull this off and you can put the wood in there, but hell with all that. So I'm gonna weld that down here on this and just close it off. Unless you guys know something else that it's made for, but to me, I'm not feeding wood through there. I'm gonna feed wood straight through the door. And you see, here's the door. It's got all the pipe inside there and everything. So uh, I think what I'm gonna do, just to see what it looks like, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the tent and um, stick the pipe out through and see, just kind of, you know, just see what it's gonna look like when it's ready to go. And I'll bring y'all in here in just a second and show you guys what it looks like. I can't wait for this, guys. All right, so what we got here, as you see, is the tent, and I got the pipe sticking out now. I wish I had a spark arrestor for the top here, but I do not. And that's all right, I guess. I'm gonna make one. A buddy of mine told me you can just use a tin can, cut it, and go for broke. Reason why I want one is for the snow, and that rain, if I'm out here doing that. Now, you see how it's not very tight right here? And you know, this is my first time, you know, just kind of get this thing situated. Let's go inside, I'll show you what it looks like. All right, here it is inside, going up to the stove jack. 
I decided I'm going to go ahead and just try it in here and see what I got. You can see I need to definitely do some work in here. But it's good enough for now. It's definitely good enough for probably three people. But you'd be kind of cramped because, you know, especially for big guys. So, Ron, J Dubs, pick your spot out. Let's get this fire started. If you're interested in this saw here, uh, I bought this from a guy named Nick Stowell. S T O W E L L. He's on Facebook. Check him out. This thing has really lived up to its uh, expectations. It's fantastic. Now, uh, I carry it quite often. I don't use it hardly ever. Only because it's so damn pretty. But I, when I mean when I need it, I mean it's perfect. It, it makes less work out of cutting, obviously. So I mean you can see how good it is. To me, it's it's just it's so lightweight too. That's the main thing. And it folds down to basically nothing. Now I've done a video on this saw right here. If you're interested in checking it out, look up here in the link, and uh, should be one there popping up any second, and you can check it out. Um, it's a damn good saw, super light, folds up on itself. There's other saws you can buy that are even lighter, but anyway, you want to support somebody, not a company or a country, check him out guys, he makes these handmade. Let's go on in and uh, check it out. I didn't cut a whole bunch of wood. Um, it's actually warming up pretty good now, so. But anyway, let's go here and check it out. Looks pretty good so far. All right, there's the, uh, there's the uh, fireplace. It's awful smoky, but that's because I'm burning pine right now to get this fire going. Hopefully once it gets going, it won't require this pine. So far what I'm seeing and I'm not liking with this, is this right here, the smoke. And I've got the damper all the way open. So hopefully that will kind of peter down a little bit. All right, we got the smoke where I can physically stay in here and have talk to you. Uh, so it is burning pine, which is obviously not my choice of wood to burn. Um, I just had some fat wood and that's what I burned, so. It's slowly going away. Once all that pine gets out of here, obviously it'll be gone. So, I can tell you right now that the stove is pretty damn hot. Uh, yeah, I can't even touch that. So, it's doing really, really good. And uh, I'll let it burn a little bit. And uh, just burn this little bit of wood I got here. I don't got a whole lot, but I got a little bit. And once it gets all burned down, then I'm gonna put it out and you know head on home. But. We'll see, we'll see what happens here. All right, guys. <laughs> the smoke is just about dissipated. Now, I don't like this. This is, I guess, normal. I don't know. I don't know if you can see it in the camera or not, but I don't, I don't like that. So what that is, that's a little bit of smoke coming out, and I'm not a big fan of that. It's kind of like it needs a gasket or something. I'm not sure. So I'm going to have to address that and see. And guys, if you know, well, by all means, please tell me. But we're just about down. Almost all of the um, uh, pine is just about gone now. So we're almost just on hardwood. So I'll be glad when that's gone. I can still see a little bit of pine in there. A little pine resin. And that's why all that smoke's coming bad. You know, when hardwood burns, it doesn't have that much smoke. So hopefully, once it's all gone, that'll be gone too. All right, well, I took everything off because it got really hot in there. Um, I almost have to take my jacket off. It's pretty hot. I, I got a little ways to go yet to get out of here, so I'm gonna let this fire burn down a little bit, finish this video out, talk to you. Uh, obviously I couldn't camp right now because yesterday was Christmas and family in, that just wouldn't look cool. Uh, at least I didn't think so. So I decided just to hang out, you know, with the fam and 
and come out here today and do this. Uh, I do believe I'm gonna like this tent. The only thing about that stove, and I'm not 100% sure why, it smokes like crazy at the door. Uh, not so much with the hardwood, but still yet, it still has some smoke coming out of it. Not sure if you need a gasket, so drop a comment down below if you guys have any idea. Uh, you know, I know hardwood burns better, and I have the damper completely open, both of them, and I've tr messed with the damper, closed it to see. I always have to close it, there's gonna be more smoke, but anyway, I don't know. I don't wanna get in there and, you know, <laughs> Have a you know a bad night so yeah this is a really 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 nice tent so far from what i can see uh the stove does good it rained me out of the tent i got both doors open now it's when people say that i was like i don't know but i'm gonna tell you straight up limbs are falling out of the tree little ones anyway uh i'm gonna tell you right now that it is the truth uh, i can probably take the jacket off and probably be all right that's how warm it is out here well in there rather and uh, yeah, all right, a uh, couple of things. Um, so I mentioned before my keto, um, if you're interested in that, I'm just gonna just touch very, very basic on it. My wife went to the, uh, had emergency surgery and God willing, she's a lot better now. Uh, basically, if she wouldn't have went to the hospital, uh, she would have been dead. So uh, luckily I decided to take her and four transfusions later and a surgery, emergency surgery, uh, everything's great. Uh, she's obviously sore, so, I'm, I wanted to go camping on this like today, but I can't because I'm kind of like a nurse for my wife and that's completely fine. That's what you're supposed to do for your family. So, and as far as the keto goes, why I mentioned that is because uh, we were back and forth at the hospital and just trying to keep everything at bay plus Christmas. So today is the day that I started keto for real. I said that like a week ago, but this video will be out way longer than that. And um, anyway, it'll be, this video will be out, you know, obviously uh, probably sometime in January, maybe, maybe before, but I doubt it. And so I'm just letting you know. So now I'm started in, uh, got a good head on my shoulders, ready to do this. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to actually just camp out here all day long. It's gonna be awesome. I would love to go uh, camp where there is a trout stream. I'm hoping to do that, hopefully. Uh, may not be in the snow because that place where I wanna go is a pretty good distance from here, so, and I would have to literally backpack in a good little ways and even though that's awesome I just don't know if I'm up for that just yet maybe next year uh, I'm probably not gonna keep this stove long especially if it smokes like that uh, all the videos I've watched I've not seen any smoke inside of uh, tents please let me know guys if something I'm doing wrong but I think I need to put some silicone or something not silicone but the RTV the high RTV sealant on there to kind of I don't know I don't know what I need to do because it's I, I don't know that I feel comfortable sleeping in there uh, with all that smoke. Now I do know if you burn the pine, obviously it won't do it. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and let this uh, burn down. I'm gonna go ahead and get on out of here. And um, I do wanna say thank you this year for everybody. I know this, this video might be this year in 2020, but I doubt it. Um, also, I wanna touch on one thing that a little politics have made this far. Hit that thumbs up. Uh, on the politics side, you know, I told you I voted for Trump. Um, you know, and I don't know when this video is going to be out. You know, he still thinks he's going to be in office, and I hope he is. And if not, like I told you guys before, uh, I'm not going to bash Biden. I don't like Biden, but I'm not going to bash him. He's our president. I hope he does what he says he's going to do, and I hope he doesn't divide the country more. And I, I just hope his, his, his plan is... <sighs> I wish it was like Trump's, but it's not. So I'm just gonna leave that there. Uh, like I said, I'm not gonna bash him. You know, if, if he won le uh, legitimately, then so be it. If he didn't, which I don't think he did, then he needs to be put in prison along with all the rest of the people. Anyway, enough politics. This is more camping. So yeah, this tent so far, uh, I will say it seems to be all right. I know when, like I say, when the stove is on, it's hot as balls inside. So it, to me, that's great. And uh, all right, I'm gonna close this out. And uh, thanks for coming along. Uh, the stove, tent, and the jet sled will all be down below in description. So if you're interested in uh, checking that out, obviously I'll try to remember to leave a link for Nick Stowall. Also, he's on Facebook. Not 100% sure if he makes those saws anymore, but he did about, I think I got that thing four years ago, maybe three or four years ago. And I don't know what the price is now, but let me tell you, that's some high quality stuff there. All right, guys, if you like what you see here, make sure you hit that thumbs up, like and subscribe. God bless, and we'll see you on the next one. Have a great day.